If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. Reconciling accounts matches transactions from an account's bank statement to transactions for the account in QuickBooks Online. You can only reconcile balance sheet accounts. To reconcile an account, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar. Then click the Reconcile link under the Tools heading in the drop-down menu to open the Reconcile page. The first time you open this page, you can click the Get Started button to continue. Then click the Let's Do It button in the pop-up window that opens to finally open the Reconcile page. When you return to this page in the future, it will immediately show the Reconcile page instead. In the Reconcile page, to select the account to reconcile, choose it from the Account drop-down. For the selected account, enter the account's Statement Information into the Add the Following Information section. The account's beginning balance appears to the left. Enter the statement's ending balance into the Ending Balance field. Then enter the statement's ending date into the Ending Date field. If needed, then enter any bank service fees or interest earned into the Enter the Service Charge or Interest Earned If Necessary section. Enter any bank service fees into the Service Charge field and then select the Date and the account used to track bank service fees from the adjacent Date and Expense Account dropdowns. To enter Interest Earned, type the amount of interest earned into the Interest Earned field. Then select the date and the income account used to track interest income from the adjacent date and income account dropdowns. To reconcile the account after entering the statement information, click the Start Reconciling button at the bottom of the window. In the Reconcile Account Name page that opens, the transactions for the account as of the statement ending date appear on the Payments, Deposits, and All tabs. You can click these tabs to filter the transactions in the list below to show only the associated types of account transactions. Clicking the Payments tab shows payments in the transaction list. Clicking the Deposits tab shows only deposits in the transaction list. Clicking the All tab shows all account transactions. The information you entered from the account statement appears at the top of the page. The purpose of this page is to click the small circles that appear at the right end of the transaction rows that appear in the account statement to mark them as cleared by placing a check mark in the circles. After all transactions are found and marked as cleared, the difference shown in the upper right corner of the window should be zero. This means every account transaction in the statement is matched to a transaction in QuickBooks Online and therefore the transactions in both versions of the account are reconciled. By default, the list of transactions hides transactions that occur after the statement's end date. To show all transactions, click the X button to the left of the Statement Ending Date filter in the upper left corner of the transaction list, or click the Clear Filter View All link in the same area to remove all filters. To apply filters to the transaction list, click the Filter drop-down button in the upper left corner of the transaction list to select from Filtering Choices in the drop-down menu. Then click the Apply button in the drop-down menu to apply the filters you selected. You can remove applied filters by clicking the X button to the left of the applied filters name or by clicking the Clear Filter slash View All link. If needed to change the account statements information you entered, Click the Edit Info button in the upper right corner of the page to open and edit the information from your statement pane at the right side of the window. Change the account statement information as needed, and then click the Save button in the lower right corner of this pane to return to the Reconcile Account Name page. Click the Cancel button in this pane to leave without saving changes. The information at the top of the page shows the statement ending balance, minus the cleared balance, which should produce a difference of zero after completing the account reconciliation. The account's beginning balance, minus the total payments, 
and deposits selected in the transaction list also appear here. The drop-down button in the upper right corner of the page lets you manage the account reconciliation. After successfully reconciling an account, click or select the Finish Now command from this drop-down button to save it and close the page. To save your work if you want to finish reconciling an account later, or to leave to investigate an account discrepancy, select the Save for Later command from this drop-down button to save your work and close the page. To return to finish the account reconciliation later, click the Settings button and then click the Reconcile link under the Tools heading in the drop-down menu again. Then select the Same Account again and click the adjacent Resume Reconciling button to continue from where you left. To remove all your changes and close the reconciliation, Click the Close Without Saving command from this drop-down button to open a We'll Remove All of Your Changes confirmation prompt window. Then click the Close Without Saving button in this window to confirm. Alternatively, to return to the reconciliation, click the Go Back button in the prompt window. After completing an account reconciliation, a reconciliation report becomes available. In the You Reconciled This Account window that appears, you can click the View Reconciliation Report link to view the report. Otherwise, click the Done button in the window to close it. Alternatively, to view an account reconciliation report later, click the Settings button. Then click the Reconcile link under the Tools heading in the drop-down menu to open the initial Reconcile page again. Then click the History by Account link in the upper right corner of that window to open a History by Account page. Use the Account drop-down at the top of this page to select the account for which to view the previous reconciliation report. The account's previous reconciliation reports then appear in the list below. For the desired period, click the View Report link under the Action column to open the report. Then click the Print button in the upper right corner of the report to print it if needed. To instead view a Reconciliation Summary page, click the Summary link in the upper right corner of the Reconcile window. To return to the Reconcile page from the Summary or History by Account page, click the Reconcile link in the upper right corner of the window. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.